I was really absolutely uh, fascinated by the story and Jews are telling stories. This is my, my identification with Judaism actually. So it is not only a scientific fantastic structure but it is also a fantastic story how you have been um, telling us the, the relationship between Freud and Schnitzler on the one side and um, the painters like Kokoschka, Klimt and Schiele on the other side, how the physiognomies worked with all, and this whole thing was absolutely fantastic. I can only say gorgeous. Now, uh, I would have I would like to ask you one more question in going into detail, which has to do with what is going on today. Your merits and your Nobel Prize, etc., is, is based on more newer research of neuro neurology and uh, is far beyond actually this scope of the story you told us yesterday. No. No? Uh, because uh, this, the arts. Uh, the stop, art, the art, stop of course. with expressionism, actually. Yes, of course. But I speak about the beholder share and how we're beginning to understand the biology of the beholder share. The experiments on how faces are represented in the brain is one year old. These are new experiments. Right. right. If you're looking onto the arts, painting is almost vanished. You have installation art and no, that, all different that's, kinds. Of that's not the point. No, that is not the point. Is, okay. I want to make it clear. I'm not interested nor competent to discuss all of art. All of art would require not a book, an encyclopedia. I wanted to use one example for how neurobiology can enrich your understanding of art. You could do the same thing with installation art, you could do yes. it with abstract art, and different people will do this. This is not my interest. My interest is in portraiture and how it's represented in the brain, period. But didn't you say that it is so important, the face, yes. the, the speaking yeah. of the yeah, hands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where, where is the face in an installation? But the, the, the face is not represented in an installation, but other parts are represented. But maybe the reason installation art is not as powerful as portraiture is because it doesn't have as rich a representation. I don't know, I'm just guessing. I'm, you know, this is a stupid comment. We don't know. Maybe very, installation has its own inner meaning. It have, may have, because it is so abstract sometimes, it may bring out ambiguity that is very powerful for the brain. So each art form, insofar as it affects you, affects you because of certain brain processes, and we can study them, and people will study them. So this is going beyond Gombrich and oh, of beyond... Of course. Yeah. I use it only as an example of how we can begin to do it. I use the simplest example. I said this. I'm a reductionist. I use the simplest example. There are more complicated examples. Abstract art. I have written a paper uh, on radical reductionism and all uh -huh. I point out that people think that when you uh, do use radical reductionism, it, 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 you take the beauty out of something. And I make the point this is not true. I use an image of Turner, a very figurative painting, yeah. of, of a ship at sea, and then a, a later Turner, which is very abstract. And I show that the abstract one, if anything, is more poetic, more powerful than the figurative one. So just because it's reduced doesn't mean that it's less interesting. I make the same point. I take a series of Rothko's. Yes. A figurative Rothko, a quasi-abstract one in the classical horizontal bars, and you see the power, the beauty, the religiosity that you see in the abstract painting. It's wonderful, and the brain responds very powerfully to that. If you go to the Rothko Museum in Houston, you walk into them, you see these dark uh, uh, paintings, fantastically powerful. You see your whole body moving. Yeah. Okay, so if we see this difference between, let's say, paintings until expressionism and paintings afterwards or, or art af uh, until now, uh, would, is there a relationship between what has been uh, invented or researched on, on the uh, neurological and psychoanalytical way until then and now? Is there something we can relate? I, I, the, this tradition of neuroaesthetics is very young. There are only two or three people at the moment working on it, so they have not explored 
the uh, most the most recent developments in Iran. But this will come. It's a very young field. So you have written a paper on on Rothko. Uh, I wrote a paper on Turner and Rothko. Yes, yes. And yes. others also. On, on, no, on the only of those two. I use it only as an example. So and I can so, find it in uh, uh, in a journal. Yes. Uh, if you send me an email, I will tell you the reference to it. Thank okay. you very much. Pleasure. Thank you.